toddler is recovering from injuries tonight, just one of several victims after a dangerous Halloween night on the roads. As a boy was trick-or-treating with his mother when he was hit by a truck, part of a busy night for first responders, several accidents sending multiple people to hospital. CTV's Lisa Rossington has our top story. Right over there. Rohini Dio called 911 when she heard a child had been hit by a truck across the street from her Surrey home. Dio gave the 911 operator updates on the boy's condition until help arrived. They told me not to touch the kid or not to move the kid as long as you can get a towel and dab the blood and tell me how much he's bleeding. The three-year-old boy had been trick-or-treating with his mother when it happened about 7 p.m. on 62nd Avenue. The RCMP said the truck was in a roundabout and when the driver saw the mother and child, he wasn't able to stop in time. I saw the little kid. He was bleeding from mouth and he had some injuries over here. I didn't know until, you know, they cut his, ripped his pants off. Then I saw his left knee was also injured. Mom was also crying and the candies were all scattered around there. Two hours later, also in Surrey, a 57-year-old man was rushed to hospital in critical condition. He was hit by a vehicle on 144th Street in Surrey. The driver remained at the scene. Pedestrians need to consider using crosswalks. In Vancouver, a limousine and an ambulance collided at West 12th and Granville. The crash sent the ambulance into a clothing store. The ambulance had been responding to a call and was not carrying a patient. There were no serious injuries. In Maple Ridge, a head-on collision between two vehicles sent one woman to hospital. And in Langley, a fight resulted in a man being stabbed several times. He was taken to hospital. It was a very busy night for first responders. <laughs> the RCMP say many of the calls were firework related. We're managing to get most of the calls for service in. Uh, of course, there's a fairly high volume of fireworks calls. It's unlikely these boys had a fireworks permit. As for the Surrey toddler, he has a broken leg and police say the driver of the truck stayed on scene and was not impaired. No charges have been laid. Lisa Rossington, CTV News, Surrey.